So Disney released their X-Men 97 official trailer, which was well received. However, something sinister was shortly unearthed afterwards. Well, then we get this right here from X-Men Updates. Morph's characterization in X-Men 97. This is a lighter take on the character who is non-binary and has an interesting buddy relationship with Wolverine, the character's past with Mr. Sinister, the show's villain, could also come into play. So one part of the argument here is X-Men 97 is set in a particular time period. Such things as non-binary didn't necessarily exist back then. And then the other side of the argument says that, yeah, but the X-Men have always been a diverse group of characters that were accepting of different ideologies and all that stuff. So having a non-binary character shouldn't necessarily be something that is surprising. My personal gripe with this issue is why is it that the community that must not be named always needs to be given some sort of special adoration? and veneration every single time a company does something. This is what we call pandering. There is no reason as to why you guys should be given a special platform above any other group. That's the part that rubs me the wrong way and just shows, it just goes to show that these people are not necessarily in it for the story or the entertainment, but it's for other reasons. But anyway, guy, I mean, it's Disney, guys, so enough said. <laughs> so is it a horror movie, a comedy TV show, a historical documentary? Black excellence. Uh huh. That doesn't really tell me anything you need to know about the movie. It's not a movie. Oh, okay. So it's a TV show. It's a black director directing an all-black cast. Okay, great. What's it about? Uh, you're missing the point. It doesn't matter what it's about. What matters is black. Uh, you see, we can market this as black creators. Put it in its own category. What do you want to watch? You want to watch a drama? You want to watch a comedy? How about black brilliance? No, no, look, Tom. I'm totally on board with this, especially in February. I'm just trying to understand what's the show. What's it about? What do you mean? I mean, people don't search for shows by the skin color of the director and cast, right? I mean, don't they search by genre and ratings? Why is black creators even a category? We just want to combat racism. So you categorize by race? Yes, exactly. What are you fucking stupid? <laughs> But we've we've had some unforeseen news that has come out. So let's just go and, and tackle the exclusivity question because I know it's on the minds of a lot of people. We hear from the community, and that's an important input for us. So we made the decision that we're going to take four games to the other consoles, um, just four games, not a change to our kind of fundamental exclusive strategy. Um, it is we're making these decisions for some specific reasons. Um, we make every decision really with the long-term health of Xbox in mind. So Xbox finally addressed the rumors in their podcast yesterday. And I must say that it was extremely underwhelming, especially going into the podcast with all the rumors that were swirling around. You were expecting huge bombshells. <laughs> and essentially, the only noteworthy thing that was shared is the fact that only four titles that Xbox owns will be multi-platform. And I honestly feel as though <laughs> we didn't need 22 minutes of, of a podcast just to say that. Because Phil Spencer could have just addressed this topic as soon as the leak fell could have just sent a tweet and be like nah guys it's it, it ain't like that the only games that are that are, that are gonna be multi-platform it's four it's not gonna be starfield and that's all rumors leaks crushed <laughs> there's no need for 22 minutes of nothingness that's all we needed to hear but xbox and their communication skills they're on a whole nother level okay are we done with your bad stand-up routine almost but you always gotta end on your best joke. That don't work. <laughs> <laughs> Miles, I'm gonna need your help. Venom's on Rampage off the street of 25th and Broadway. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What? 25th and what? Oh, this? You know, just thought I'd change it up a bit. What? Oh my god, no, I, I did not yes, steal you it. Did. I did yes, not steal you it. Did. Don't freaking lie to me, Spidey B. Jordan. We all know where you got that oh, okay, from. Okay, fine. I, I was inspired. Inspi you literally look like you ripped those extensions off of this. These head. are not extensions. Oh, when was the last time we met? Last week? I know this is a video game, but you can't speed run a lock journey. Look, I'm just trying to do something to represent my culture, right? There are more black fictional characters with that hairstyle than there are in real life. No, there is. Yes, there is. Prince of Persia, League of Legends, the default black guy in Power World, Apex Legends, name some who actually exists. I mean, there's like this one creator I follow on YouTube. Killmonger never really was the villain. It's that damn hairstyle taking over like Frank's Red Hot Sauce. They just put that shit on everything. Oh, oh. <laughs> The 
likes of Disney and Netflix are now desperately trying to get into the gaming industry, but the reason why is very concerning. We all probably saw this week that Disney made a massive move by buying a 1.5 billion, with a B, stake into Epic Games to create an expansive universe within Fortnite. Just to rattle off a few more, Netflix, as we all have already seen, have been aggressively making moves into the gaming industry. You have the Apple Arcade, Amazon and Luna, and just the list goes on. And you want to know why? Let me break down a little secret for you here. The global gaming industry is worth almost double the music and film industry combined. They're seeing a freaking giant holy cash cow and they want a goddamn piece. Now it would be concerning enough if the only problem with giants like Disney getting involved was them influencing the creative process and Disneyfying it. I mean, we're all seeing the kind of stuff that they're putting out right now. But that is not the only concern. Their main concern is their business model. Imagine a world where GTA 6 finally drops but instead of the one-off $150, it's $10 a month. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Honest, I was not very steeped in the comics. I didn't, I didn't read any comics or do any research. I wasn't familiar with comics. I wasn't familiar with the movies. We didn't lean into a whole lot of the history of the comic books. Yeah, candidly, we were not enormous um, comic fans. I wasn't super into superhero comics when I was a kid. I read a lot of like indie press stuff. First thing I was told is don't read the comics. When the DVD comes out, I'm going to read a Thor comic book and just see where we went wrong. Do you see gods of Olympus? Do you need more proof than Fire! Yeah! Hey, Should we yeah! sir? Ubisoft said that their upcoming Skull and Bones game is a quadruple A game. Quadruple A. That's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> Elon Musk has hired a lawyer through X and is taking the fight to Disney and hopefully an attempt to put them out of business as Disney has been using extremely discriminatory hiring practices. Here's a document that shows proof of that as they are looking to get, quote, 50 percent or more in almost every single category, people that are, quote, in underrepresented groups. And if you don't know what that means, basically it just means if you're straight and white, you have almost no chance to get hired at Disney. And How about that? The more that happens, the worse it gets. It's very sad to see the current state of things in the United States. If you've never heard of it, there's this thing called the Civil Rights Act of 1964. And the Civil Rights Act of 1964 states clearly and unequivocally that it is not legal to discriminate on the basis of sex, race, religion, and a number of other characteristics that some of which you can't control, some of which you can, but regardless, you cannot discriminate against people based on those. That's the point here, and that's why it's so crucial what Elon Musk is doing. If you have been discriminated against by Disney or any of these other major corporations, you now have an opportunity to have your voice heard. Whereas for a long time, we have seen these levers of power when it comes to the law only being used in a one-sided way to bludgeon people that typically agree with us or look like us or think like us. But wait! Gina announced her lawsuit today on X through Elon, saying that one of his lawyers actually reached out to her, which is awesome to see. But even though her case is very clear cut, how her entire acting career was pretty much destroyed by Disney's lies and discrimination, there are many other cases that you may not have heard of that maybe aren't so clear or aren't so public that are still very much against the law 
and Disney still very much needs to be held accountable for and or put out of business. One of the two of those things. No, please, please don't say that. It needs to happen and likely will happen now. And thank God we have a fighter in our corner who's willing to stand up for things that you're really not even allowed to speak about in certain circles. You love to see it. not going to happen. It's going to shut down just like Avengers did and probably maybe even get delisted, which would be absolutely hilarious. Uh, but the media is trying to save the game. They're trying to give you, the consumer, a reason to buy it. Would you like to know what that reason is? Why you should go buy this game right now? Well, I'm sure a question all of you have had is what is the sexuality of King Shark? Yeah, the giant human shark. Uh, well, human looking and acting shark. I'm sure a lot of you wanted to know how he likes to get down. Because that's uh, what every comic book fan has always wondered. Well, fear not. He's bisexual. Uh, he likes human men. So now there's a reason to play the game. There's a reason to play the game. Shark fans rejoice. DC strongly implies King Shark is queer in Arkhamverse. Killed the Justice League canon. Yeah. No, man. I'm so sick of this bullshit. So Tomb Raider the Remastered Collection recently dropped and it was very well received. However, modern video game entertainment simply cannot let us have nice things. When you initially boot up the game, you are greeted with this message. The games in this collection contain offensive depictions of people and their cultures rooted in racial and ethnic prejudices. These stereotypes are deeply harmful and inexcusable and do not align with our values and crystal dynamics. Hold on, hold on a minute. I'm getting a phone call. I'm getting a phone call. Hi, is that the uh, uh, tribe from the Amazon calling? Yeah, hi, tribe from the Amazon calling. What's that? You don't give a fuck what they say on Twitter! Rather than removing this content, we have chosen to present it here in its original form, unaltered, in the hopes that we may acknowledge its harmful impact and learn from it. Ah! 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 No, the Embracer group wanted to make money and told you to shut the fuck up and get on with it. My main question in all of this is who are you virtue signaling to Crystal Dynamics? Are you trying to virtue signal to BlackRock? Because the last time I checked, Embracer Group owns you. Embracer Group is your daddy. They are the ones who pay for your maintenance, your hair, your nails. Embracer does that, not Black, not BlackRock. So then who are you virtue signaling to? Are you virtue signaling to the fans? Is that who you're trying to virtue signal to? Because that's also the wrong, the wrong audience to do it. Because people nowadays are sick and tired of companies placating overgrown children. People that are simply offended by anything and everything under the sun so then the question still remains who are you virtue signaling to crystal dynamics anyway thank you in advance for liking and subscribing and remember stay frosty and always vote with your wallet